Yo, welcome back to another video. Today I've got a review of the new Vince Staples album, The Mona Park Broke My Heart. Now, before this, I was not too familiar with Vince's music. I had only heard a handful of singles and features by him. So I went into this pretty open-minded and I can say I was somewhat satisfied. The album stands at 16 tracks and 41 minutes long in runtime, which I don't think is a problem. It's a good length and doesn't get draining or annoying, especially with the sound that Vince is trying to do on this record. It's a groovy, low-key sound with smooth and soothing samples and a calm yet fitting delivery by Vince, although I'll touch on that more later. It is definitely not the perfect execution of this sound, but the album does well to convey its ideas. I look at this album and think more background music than head-on listening experience. Not that the subject matter on this album is not interesting, I think the problem is more with its sound. Throughout the album, I feel like Vince doesn't try experimenting a lot vocally, which is one of my main issues. I do like his performances on here as individual performances, but if I'm listening to a 16-track album, I need more experimenting. The instrumentals aren't too big of an issue. I like the drums and some of the samples used, but the melodies I'm not too big of a fan of. The album struggles to keep me entertained because of its sound. I struggle to recall how certain songs sound and I only remember a handful even though I have listened to this album a couple of times now over the weekend. That's why I say it's more of a background music album to me. I can imagine writing homework to this, hanging out with friends to this, driving around or whatever it may be. A head-on listening experience, which is how I do my first listen to albums, just listening to music and doing nothing else. For future listens, of course, I do listen to it in the background while doing other activities. Can get challenging. It doesn't experiment enough, more on the vocal side, to keep me entertained for a whole 16 tracks. I know this is not how most people listen to their music though, so I'm not going to bash it too much for that. To talk about Vince's vocals, I'm not too much of a fan of his delivery. It definitely fits the vibe of the whole album, but as the record goes on, the vocals become less and less entertaining since you're getting used to it. Negatives aside though, I can't recall a bad track from this record. I feel like every track is at least solid and can stand on its own. My favorite tracks are DJ Quick, I like Vince's performance on there, Magic with Mustard is also nice, the chorus is catchy and the song in general is groovy. When Sparks Fly is also one of my favorites, I love the sample on that and how punchy the drums are, and Bang Dad is one of the more entertaining tracks on the record. So my general thoughts are that the sound of the album itself and the ideas are pretty good. It's chilled and smooth and definitely has good moments, but Vince fails to do the project justice and brings it down a lot. I'm gonna be listening to more of Vince's music to see what he's got in store, I feel like he's definitely got potential. I'm gonna rate this album a 6. I like the general idea and sound of it, but as it goes on it struggles to entertain me. Tell me down below what did you guys think of the album. If you liked it, please say so and say why. If you didn't like it, please tell me and tell me why. I'm always interested to hear other people's opinions. A like on this video would be greatly appreciated as well as hitting the subscribe button. That would mean the world to me since that would push the video out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in our next review or in the future content I have planned. Peace!